How to stake ETH 2.0 on Binance. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with staking ETH 2.0 on your Binance account. So let's get into it. Now, before you get into staking, you first need to deposit into your Binance wallet. So simply head on over to your wallet and deposit money into your spot or fiat account or deposit the crypto token of your choice from your crypto wallet. So if you have money or your crypto tokens in your crypto wallet, you can transfer them over to your Binance account as well for you to begin staking Ethereum. So you can take MetaMask, for example, you can simply transfer from MetaMask onto your Binance wallet to be able to stake on ETH 2.0 with Binance. Now, there are some basic things you need to know before you get into staking ETH 2.0. First off, ETH 2.0 is the upgrade to the Ethereum blockchain network that allows more scalability, more efficiency and sustainability without having to sacrifice decentralization or security. And it is basically a upgraded version of ETH and Ethereum is stepping into the merge state. And after the Ethereum merge, the con consensus of the Ethereum mechanism will be updated to POS instead of the POW mechanism that it previously functioned on. Plus, you can also redeem your staked Ethereum as a one-to-one -one ratio. So you get the Binance tokenizes BETH. So you get BETH in return for your Ethereum. And BETH is going to be a lot more liquidated while your actual Ethereum will be locked and will become locked in your assets for trading and withdrawal. You can change your BETH or Binance ETH back to Ethereum when the staking withdrawal is enabled. And you will have the chance to swap your BETH for your actual ETH on a one-to-one one ratio as you received it then your apr is going to be calculated this is going to be the staking report rewards depending on the eth network this is not something that binance creates themselves and then with b eth it is a tokenized assets and you can swap your staked eth for b eth and then you can do anything you want with your b eth as you normally would with ethereum so whatever purchase you might want any trades or withdrawals you wanted to make with your ethereum you can instead make it with b eth or binance eth and then later on after your uh, you can swap your b eth holdings with ethereum uh, after the mainnet goes live and the withdrawal feature appears and this will appear at least 6 to 12 months later after the Ethereum merge and you will receive equal amount of Ethereum to your Binance ETH holdings. And then how can you view that your balance? All of that basic stuff will be covered in this video. Now, to get started with staking ETH 2.0, simply head on over to Binance.com and then go into the Earn section. Once you are in the Earn section, Simply click on ETH 2.0 on the bottom right over here, and this is the ETH 2.0 staking. So now uh, from here, all you have to do is click on stake now on the left over here, and you can enter the amount you want to stake. So let's say you want to stake one Ethereum, it will show you how much you will be distributing, the daily amount limit that you have, the total personal staking quota that is currently available. Then you have some basic notices, so your ETH will be used to stake ETH in ETH 2.0, and it will take at least 6 to 12 months for you to be able to regain access to this. Now you can see this is going to be my stake date, and then I have the value date, which is going to be the next day, the interest distribution date, which is the date after that, and then the redemption date. So the redemption date is going to be when the Ethereum 2.0 mainnet goes live. So until that, you cannot redeem your ETH, so you will have to wait for the redemption of your Ethereum. Now, until then, you will get BETH or Binance ETH, which is a equivalent token where you can use that as a alternate to your Ethereum. And then you also have some basic interest calculations. That is going to be your APR. And the APR does not mean the actual or predicted returns in fiat currency. That is something to keep in mind whenever you are staking and then you will simply click on confirm to begin staking with ETH 2.0. It is this simple and easy and you do not have to choose your own validators, find your own validators or anything of that sort whenever you are staking Ethereum on the Binance platform. And that is why it is so efficient and simple to stake on Binance directly instead of having to go to, to a third party to stake over there. Now, Moving on, you also have other staking options on Binance, such as once you simply go onto the Binance Earn section, and once you go into Binance Earn over here, you can click on staking, 
And you can see, other than just basic ETH 2.0 staking, you also have DeFi staking. And DeFi staking obviously has its own risks. You have basic Ethereum staking over here as well. Currently, in both the 120 day lock and the flexible lock, it is sold out. But you also have decentralized staking with this as well. And if you are not uh, really that familiar with ETH 2.0 or you don't want to go in long term as it would be to go into ETH 2.0 staking, then you can go into DeFi staking and stake a token of your choice. Obviously, a lot of these are often sold out, but if you check up a couple of times, you will be able to find the token of your choice and you can stake ETH or any other token for a flexible lock or for a certain numbered lock as well. And then you also have locked staking. So locked staking is the simple earn function on Binance. They call it simple earn. And it is also another form of staking. You can stake your tokens in a flexible or a certain and uh, duration based lock and there are a bunch of different tokens available for this so if you're not sure that you want to get started with staking using ethereum because ethereum is a larger token for a lot of people they're using their ethereum as their main token or the main you know crypto savings that they have or the main crypto token that they have so if that seems like a little too much you can get started with some of these smaller tokens and begin staking with these to have a better understanding of how staking is going to function and then later on move to ethereum or go into ethereum 2.0 because ethereum 2.0 is definitely definitely going to take a lot more time than uh you know staking on um a staking with a smaller token for a smaller amount of time and you also get daily earnings the rewards distribution is going to be to all the participant and the would there be eth position depending on how much be eth you have that it will be your redemption and then once a major upgrade happens, the Shanghai upgrade or ETH 2.0 upgrade, you can redeem your Ethereum. So that is how simple and easy it is to get started with staking ETH 2.0 on Binance. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video